Berlin invites us to the International German Swimming Championships. My name is Igor Bonder. I'm from the Ukraine and I came here with my team to compete at the International German Open. It's been a long time, about 10 years since I've competed in a big event like this. And it's remarkable just how many athletes come together at such competitions. Back in my time, we didn't have that. The number of athletes was smaller. So I'm happy to see that things have changed. We've counted around 35 nations participating here. So it really feels like a world or European championships. And that's wonderful. The 22nd International German Open in Berlin is a very popular event among Paralympic swimmers. The variety is astonishing. Over 600 athletes from 35 nations have gathered here for four days of competition. No other sport displays such diversity. Swimming is unforgiving. No costly equipment or high-tech devices to compensate for the disability. There is only the athlete and the water free without limits. I like the feeling of uh, weightlessness because in the water there's no um, obstacles, right? There's, uh, you can go anywhere you want. Yeah, I like that feeling. <laughs> With a total of 83 world records, 61 European records and 26 American records, the event is a great showcase of top performances in the run-up to Beijing. Teresa likes coming to Berlin and appreciates the excellent conditions. You know, the, the water here has a very good feel. And uh, I've always felt that this, this pool is quite a fast pool compared to the other swimming pools that I've been to. So I, I like the pool here in German, Germany. <laughs> All life originated from water. To many athletes here in Berlin, water means life. While on shore some of them need assistance, in the pool they become independent and competitive. All athletes have developed their own styles to progress through the water. As in every sport, there are certain rules, yet water helps to compensate almost any limitation. Since I was little, about six years old, I've been using the dolphin technique, and I can do butterfly as well. As I don't have a second leg, I need a technique which provides stability and allows me to advance in the water. That's why, since my childhood, I've chosen to swim this way, as it allows me to advance in the best and fastest way. I do the 50 meters backstroke, where I set a new world record yesterday, and the 50 meters butterfly, where I won gold at the World Championships in South Africa in Durban. And I've just now done the medley. These are the three main disciplines that I'm swimming at this event. I have the record of 50 meters mariposa, 
que tengo primer lugar en el Campeonato del Mundo en Sudáfrica, en Durban. Es terminado combinado, que son mis tres pruebas principales. Sí, no, eh, well, to me, this sport mí, is bueno, not just about winning que... medals but to give life a firm no footing, always trying to improve things no, de, and to be disciplined. Daniel Diaz is well known in the Latin American swimming world. He's positive about the team's performance both in Berlin and in Beijing. Just two weeks ago we were in Manchester, now we're here in Berlin, and after that we go back to Brazil to start preparations for Beijing. On that day, Daniel breaks two world records, wins gold in the 200 meters medley and silver in the 50 meters butterfly. It's his day. And Beijing medals are well within reach. Everybody is very happy. The Brazilian team is very big and we want to do our best. It's great to be here. The event is fantastic preparation for Beijing. My life changed. The time came to think about the meaning of life. For a very long time, eight years, I lived in a monastery. There was no chance to do any sport, but being there had its own disciplines. But a monk's dedication is similar to that of an athlete. It doesn't matter where you are or what you do. When you're passionate about something, you find a way to overcome all difficulties and problems. Of course, a monk and an athlete are two different things. And why have I returned? That chapter is now over. And now it's time to finish what I've already begun. And then we'll see. Life will show me the way, I hope.